Welcome to the Sage 50 U.S. Edition Anytime Learning Topic. This topic provides an overview of the procedures and steps used to install Sage 50 accounting on a standalone Windows computer. After completing this Anytime Learning Topic, you will be able to install Sage 50 accounting on a standalone computer and activate and register Sage 50 accounting and check for updates. During this demonstration, Sage 50 Accounting will be installed on a standalone computer system running Microsoft Windows 7. However, the steps outlined here can also be used to install Sage 50 Accounting on other supported versions of Windows. Before installing Sage 50 Accounting, it's a good idea to make sure that your computer system is properly prepared for the installation. To learn tips that will help ensure a successful installation of Sage 50, it is recommended that you view the pre-installation checklist anytime learning topic before you install the program on your computer. The pre-installation topic will quickly walk you through preparing your system for a successful installation, including comparing your system with the system requirements list included with your Sage 50 package, verifying that you have the required local administrator login rights, configuring antivirus and firewall softwares so that they do not interfere with the installation and with program functionality, and more. Once you have prepared the system, you can begin installing Sage 50 Accounting. To begin, we'll insert the installation disk into the computer's DVD drive. An auto-run window should automatically display. If it doesn't appear, we can manually run it by opening Windows Explorer, accessing the installation disk, and then double-clicking on the auto-run application. On the Auto Run window, we'll click the Install Sage 50 Accounting hyperlink. The Sage 50 Installation Wizard will then start. This installation wizard will guide us step by step through the setup process. Let's click Next to start the installation. We'll agree to the license agreement and then click Next. At this point, you may receive a message stating that the Windows firewall has been detected. Firewall programs running on the system must allow Sage 50 Accounting and its helper programs to run without restriction. Otherwise, Sage 50 Accounting will not function as designed. Always click Yes to this message. Doing so will instruct the Sage 50 Installation Wizard to automatically configure Windows Firewall to allow Sage 50 files to communicate properly on the computer and on a network. Depending on the system, the setup program may also detect additional non-Microsoft firewalls running. Note that the Sage 50 Installation Wizard cannot auto-configure third-party firewall programs. It is for this reason that you should turn on your firewall's alert system before continuing. With alerts turned on, your firewall program will prompt you the first time a network-aware program is run on the system. When you receive firewall alerts during installation, always select to allow or unblock Sage 50 accounting and pervasive files as they are run for the first time. The wizard then searches for previous versions of Sage 50 or Sage Peachtree installed on the system. Now the serial number window will appear asking for the serial number provided with your Sage 50 package. Let's enter the serial number and click Next. If you are upgrading a previous version of Sage 50 or Sage Peachtree, the Upgrade Options window will display. If Yes is selected on this window, the next page of the wizard will be the Summary window where you can simply click Install to upgrade your existing program using the previous program's installation location and configuration. If you want to run both versions side by side, you can select No and click Next to configure Sage 50 Accounting to be installed in a new program files location and a new company files location without overriding and replacing your existing version. If you are not upgrading, the installation wizard will display the single or network options window instead of upgrade options. We must select whether or not we are installing Sage 50 accounting only on this computer or if we plan to share the Sage 50 company data on a network. We are installing a standalone single user version of Sage 50. We will leave Yes selected and then click Next. On the Sage 50 program files location window, we will define the location on this computer that the Sage 50 program file should be stored. This location must be a local hard drive. Let's install the program files into the default location and click Next. Earlier we told the setup process that the company data will be stored on this machine. Now we need to define the exact location 
on the Sage 50 Company Data Location window. This folder will contain your Sage 50 Company Data folder, as well as sample companies and Sage 50 accounting files that are designed to be shared between companies, such as tax table and report files. This folder is commonly referred to as Sage 50's Data Path. We'll leave this set to its current location and click Next. We have finished configuring how we want Sage 50 accounting to be installed on this system, and a summary window appears summarizing our selection. If necessary, we can click the back button to correct any mistakes we may see here. Let's click Install. A setup status window will appear, providing a view of the current progress of the installation. This portion of the installation will only take a few minutes. It will be during this time that you may be prompted by your firewall to allow or block one or more of the files listed on this window. Again, always allow these files to run unrestricted. In addition to Sage 50 Accounting, other programs installed at this time include the Pervasive Database Engine, which is used to manage your company database, and Sage 50's Advisor and Integration Services. Once the installation is complete, a final window will appear. We will uncheck the Start Sage 50 Accounting option and then click Finish to complete the installation process. Back on the desktop, we now see two new icons. The Sage 50 Accounting icon will start the program and the Accounting Backup icon allows you to configure automatic backups without having to open the Sage 50 program. The Sage 50 Accounting can also be accessed by selecting it from a new startup folder added to the Start menu. Let's open Sage 50 Accounting. We may receive additional firewall alerts as the program starts. Again, always allow the files to run. Although we are finished with the installation, there are a couple of additional steps that we should take immediately after the program is installed. First, we should activate the program. To activate Sage 50 Accounting, we'll select Help from the File menu and then Sage 50 Activation. A product activation prompt will appear. Make sure that you are connected to the Internet and then click the Activate Now button. Sage 50 Accounting will contact the Sage Activation server and will activate and register the program automatically. Click OK on the Activation Complete prompt to finish the activation. If you subscribe to a Sage 50 payroll solution, such as Simple Payroll or Select Payroll, you should go ahead and register the tax service. We'll select Help again, and then Tax Service Registration. In the Register Tax Service window, let's enter the tax registration number provided when we purchase the tax service, and click OK. The payroll solution is now registered for use with Sage 50 Accounting. Let's click OK. After registering our product, we can now check for updates to install Sage 50 service releases and Sage 50 payroll solution tax updates. Let's select Services from the File menu and then Check for Updates. We will click the Check for Updates button that appears and follow any steps that the program provides. If updates are available, you will be walked through a series of steps that will include downloading program and tax service updates and then walking through update wizards that will update the program. In this demonstration, there are currently no updates available, so we can click OK to the prompt and begin using Sage 50 Accounting. So as you have seen, installing Sage 50 is a very simple process. If you prepare your system properly and make sure that you activate your product and download updates after Sage 50 is installed, you can have Sage 50 up and running in no time. You have successfully completed this Anytime Learning topic. You have learned how to install Sage 50 Accounting on a standalone computer and activate and register Sage 50 and check for updates. Thank you for taking this Anytime Learning topic. For information on additional training options available, visit us at sageu.com.